Yo, what is going on everybody? We're back with some more Madden NFL 17 Draft Champions. Now today, I got a very, very, very interesting gameplay. The ending to this game is so bizarre and unbelievable. You guys will have to watch the whole entire thing and leave a comment below on what you guys think on what happened. I ended up streaming this game on Wednesday. I'm actually posting this game right now. I apologize for the quality. I had to rip it from Twitch. I hate ripping videos from Twitch because uh, the quality gets a little, little lackluster. So uh, I apologize for the quality. You guys know I always upload in 1080p, 60fps. Um, but this is going to be in 720p. And it's a little choppy, so forgive me. Uh, but you guys are not going to want to miss the ending to this game. So bizarre. You, oh. Uh, so anyway, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, uh, like if you guys enjoy. Now here's just the top three players of the draft. I'm not going to show you guys the whole draft just because I don't want this uh, video to drag on. But as you can see, I got Elway. I got I got some pretty good people on my team. We had actually had a decent draft, and like I said, I was uh, I was streaming this. That's why you know you ha I have the Twitch overlay, and then I also have you know the people following me in the lower right hand corner. So I apologize once again for the quality. But let's get right into the gameplay. So he's the Dallas. Cowboy uniforms. I got those sick ass uh, Falcons all black alternates, you know, elites that I pulled. Uh, so, anyway, right here, he throws to the flats and can you say, Give me that one time? Let's go. And we could go all the way. We get in for six for the first score of the game. Now, before draft, EA messed up and they had they listed the Giants as a 3-4 book. Now, I know Common Sense should have told me Giants have always been a 4-3 team for like the end of time. But they listed them as a 3-4 book and I only really run 3-4. So, when I got into the game and it was 4-3, I was like, ah, shit. <laughs> as you can see right here, it ends up dot me with the corner out and gets into the end zone. And we are all knotted up at 6. So, I'm going to have to try and uh, fight through this uh, defensive playbook. Uh, not making any excuses. I'm just not used to 4-3. You could tell, you know, you'll be able to tell. So I'm showing this kickoff because uh, one of two reasons. You know, either it's something good or it's something incredibly awful. And that's exactly what happened. Something incredibly awful. We fumble on the kickoff. It doesn't even count to even take off or kick off returns this year. But anyway, he tries going deep on third down. We uh, swat it away. And then ends up taking his three right now. So it's 10-7. We do get ball at half, so that is good. Uh, we don't have a good running back. We got Jaquiz Rogers, who actually performed spectacularly well this game um, for being a base, you know, silver or gold or whatever he was, uh, whatever the base card you get when you draft. So right here, as you can see, Jaquiz Rogers just, you know, mashing him up on, on offense. And again, I'm running the Giants offense, so I'm not really too familiar with it, but they got like a, a single back deuce close scheme that's pretty cool because it's symmetrical. Uh, and uh, Pete actually uploaded that formation on the one game plan for the Philadelphia Eagles. So I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that as Jaquiz Rogers just stiff arms the shit out of one of the defenders. Uh, gets down to the one yard line, third and goal. Trying to get in, we cannot get in. Should have audible to a passing play, so we settle for three. And we kick our field goal right after the two minute warning. So now it's 10 all. Uh, we're seeing if we can get something done. He ends up throwing a screen, the first play coming out of the two minute warning. Uh, gets like nine yards not really too bad not too bad I'm trying to still get used to this book trying to send something like uh, I'm trying to get like edge heat uh, out of something trying to use any type of you know formations to try and get any type of pressure from the left or right side I can't seem to get it done right now I'm trying to think on the fly it's not really working out so uh, so well for me but I could always rely on block shed sacks that just happened right here Second and 17, he's gonna go. Uh, he's gonna go to a corner or a table route, I should say. We're gonna tackle him out of bounds right before the second half or first half ends, and he's just gonna take his three, and we're gonna go into halftime up or down three, I should say. So now we get ball coming out of half. I'm trying to, you know, think of something that I could do. I hit Allen in the right seams. Um, <clears throat> very good play. Just keep running the ball right here. What a amazing read by me. I he pass committed I thought I was gonna get sacked to all hell uh, but I was just literally tapping the a button hoping I didn't get sacked and it turned out he got the ball off in time John Elway's not that bad of a quarterback it seems like <laughs> so second and six we're gonna hit him with a nice little stretch play to the left side and we are going to get the first down and it's gonna be pretty good uh, first and ten 
We're going to hit the drag route that beats man coverage this year, AJ Green. We're just going to lob it to him, get the rack catch, keep gaining up those yards, and we're going to finish off with Jaquiz Rogers. Now, this formation is not bad. Like I said, uh, on our website, maddenpros.com, we have a Philadelphia game plan that we just posted. Lights went over that scheme in the game plan, so it's definitely a good scheme to you know want to get, get yourself familiar with because it's symmetrical. And we are big fans uh, of symmetrical offenses. So second and three. Gets a huge gain right here with his running back. I'm not sure who number 35 is. I probably should know at this time, but I don't. Uh, I guess maybe it's Jaquiz Ross, which is the same one as me. <laughs> so first and 10, check out this play. We get the tip ball and the tip ball drill. And Earl Thomas the third says, give me that two times. Let's go. And then we, we determine we want to take it out. We probably should not have done that. I thought we would have gotten a lot more yards, but a great tip ball drill by Earl Thomas. And getting the interception, that was huge for us. And look at Jaquiz fight for your boy. Just fighting for yards. I can't believe he's doing so well. Um, it was huge for us because we're up four. We have, I want to try and milk the clock right now. Just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, milk the clock. But then something dramatic happens. He gets a block shit off the DT. <clears throat> Aaron Donald is a beast. We fumble, third and 16. We try hitting a crossing route. Linebacker steps in front of it. And then fourth down, I'm like, hell, we'll just go for it. Um, and then he plays max coverage. I mean, check this out. He's rushing one player. Literally rushing one player, two men under. I can't get anyone open. I'm looking. I'm searching. I'm searching. I'm rolling out to the left. Can't get anyone open. He's going to end up block shedding. He's going to get to me. I'm going to try and scramble out. John Elway's got like 76 speed. But we don't get to the first down marker. And two plays later, he's going to hit a screen pass. For some reason, I got freaking connect running. I got my stupid connect running. And it, for some reason, it said run commit. Uh, and then I guess I get ran commit, and we, uh, we we don't we give up the touchdown. So now the epic music starts coming in right now. We got down three, 43 seconds remaining. We see a crossing ground up the middle of the field. The post is wide open. We rack catch the dot, and then we go upfield up to the 38 yard line. We run the stretch out of the left side, and we get all the way down to the four yard line. We go out of bounds by accident. I wanted them to use up a couple more timeouts. But we get in on the very next play. And now we clutched out the offense. Now we got to do it on defense. He tries hitting the screen that he did the series before that scored the touchdown. And he, he runs his first time out. Second and 10. We get a block shit off the right side. And we get a fumble. But he recovers it. Second time. His last time out. Third and 13. Seven seconds left. Two man under. He throws it deep. We're holding down the swap button. It's tipped up in the air. His wide receiver catches it, breaks a tackle, breaks a second tackle, and he scores to end the game. Now, here is the replay of this unbelievable ending. Seven seconds left, down four. We tip, we, we swat the ball with Earl Thomas. He gets the tip ball, breaks one tackle, then breaks Earl Thomas's tackle, and gets in for six for the end of the game to end it in regulation. And I'm left speechless. I mean, I'm just going to leave this here for you guys. Leave the comments down below. Absolutely screwed out of my mind this game. Had to show you guys this unbelievable ending. Let me hear your other deadbeat stories uh, in the comment section. If you guys had a worse ending or worse finish, let me hear it in the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my personal channel, at Official Stiff. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Adio.